Hello my lovely adventurers. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for visiting today. Today I am doing the second in what I plan on uh, having as a long series of three color challenges where I randomly pull three tubes of paint out of this set of 60 colors by Arteza and challenge myself to paint something with it. So for this particular challenge, as you can see, I pulled a rather difficult set of colors. I pulled cochineal red, ultramarine blue, and pink, which I kind of feel like is more of a two color challenge because I always allow myself white. Um, so not having anything in the yellow range uh, makes this very, very difficult. So I decided to do a nice little dessert uh, setup. Um, and uh, there I sketched it in first and used a fairly pale, even uh, mix of the colors for the background and uh, did a couple of layers and then set in to paint the actual parfaits. So let me know what you think would be a good thing to paint with these colors because I had been doing landscapes my first one was a landscape but this didn't really lend itself to that and I thought about a bunch of different things and uh, um, I suppose I could always have gone into something surreal I want to do something real uh, something representational for all of these. I feel like, feel like doing something abstract and non-representational would kind of be, I don't really want to say too easy, but not in keeping with the challenge. Um, one of the things I want to push myself to do with all of this is learn about color mixing and kind of force myself to work with a limited color set um, so that I'm forced to be creative and think about what I can use these colors to represent. So I'd like to keep this all um, to be real objects, whether it's a nature scene or like this is um, a little set of dessert, you know, berry parfaits. Um, I still want to keep it kind of something real. Um, but let me know what these colors would inspire you to do. And because uh, I think it's always very interesting just to see what, what ideas different people had. So I really love these little tiny five, five inch square canvases. I have a bunch of them. And I think um, I'm going to use them for these three color challenges as much as possible. Uh, the first one I did, I did on a slightly bigger canvas, but I actually, I really like these little square ones. So I'm going to try to continue with that. So yeah, um, from here on in, I started by blocking in the main colors, kind of getting the shapes and the, the uh, overall um, look of it together and then I went in with some darks and then just blocked in where the berries were with the darks and at this point I'm switched I've switched to a small tiny brush and I'm going in and trying to make all the details on the various berries uh, so they're not just you know red blobs for the strawberries and blue blobs for the blueberries um, I'm trying to do the especially with the strawberries. The interiors are uh, so interesting. I wanted to make sure that I got that. And uh, a lot of just fussing with the, with the details, going over them over and over, trying to make the cream on top look creamy, uh, trying to uh, make everything just work. Um, I go in a little later. Oh yeah, here I put in some shadows and hated them immediately, so I went back in and covered them up. One of the very nice things about working with acrylics is that mistakes don't have to be permanent. Um, you can always go in on top and fix things. Uh, it's a lot harder to do that with watercolors, which is another medium I like to use a lot. Um, and then here are the final stages is I'm going in and trying to make the glass 
uh, cups, the glass uh, containers that these are in actually look like glass, putting in some highlights and defining the containers themselves much more. Um, let me know what you think of this artwork and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Please, please comment below. So uh, please do, uh, if you like this, like. If you enjoy my work, please do subscribe. Um, I can be found on Instagram at Carolyn's Art Adventures. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So as always, thank you. Oh, yep, I had a little help there from one of my cats. Uh, <laughs> they come and visit and want to know why I'm not paying attention to them. Yeah. Anyway, um, please, as always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and uh, be well. Thank you so much. And here's the finished product. Almost. Just a few little touches. <laughs>